Hello and welcome back to Witches of the Moon. I'm Eva Maria, your Monday hostess, and this week's topic is going to be dream magic. Now, first and foremost, I'm just going to say this is probably going to be a short video. I'm not an expert on dream magic. I can only tell you what my understandings about it are, and I'm also going to keep it real with you. I don't do a whole lot of, you know, dream magic. I do some, but, you know, I I would like to probably do more, you know, in along these these lines, you know, in this vein of practice, but I just sort of kind of do a little a little dream magic here and there. I'm not, you know, big on it. There's no real reason. It's not that I don't like it. It's not that I don't think I could do more with it. Um, I guess I just sort of maybe prefer or enjoy doing things, you know, in the waking state a little more. Um, but, you know, that's neither here nor there. The topic is dream magic. I just wanted to let you know, I, I can tell you what I understand about it you know, my points of view or things like that, but it's not like I am the definitive source, you know, I'm just here to introduce this weekly topic and tell you kind of from my, um, you know, from my uh, experience what I know or what I understand. So that said, um, first, what is dream magic? It is my understanding that the term dream magic is meant to convey magical or divinatory pursuits carried out during sleep as one is dreaming. That's pretty self-explanatory when you, you know, think of the term dream magic or hear the term dream magic. Usually that's pretty much what comes to mind, I would think. Um, but then we sit and ask ourselves the question, or the question may come up, well, why, why do dream magic, or why pursue dream magic, why bother with it? Well, um, I think dream magic can be yet another tool in your magical arsenal. Um, it's not that you have to do dream magic, but if you can, I think um, it's just yet another technique or um, way of going about things that you know, it offers you another option or options. Potentially, and by the way, if you're wondering why I'm looking off camera, I have all these thoughts that I wrote down that I just want to kind of remember to touch upon. So, potentially, there are uh, many things that a magical practitioner um, can do with and or through dream magic. Some examples include connecting with others or conveying messages to others subconsciously influencing others to do certain things by visiting the dreams of said others and planting seeds of suggestion there. Dreaming true, which generally is more um, a receiving of dreams that are premonitions, but in the case of dreaming true, usually it's not that you're seeking to have a prophetic dream or a dream that um, sort of foretells the future or future events. Usually they just kind of come on their own, I find. But then also you can deliberately divine where you um, purposely seek to have dreams that will answer questions that you have. Um, there are ways of doing this. You know, before sleep you can, you know, um, do crystal work, let's say, or you can, you know, um, communicate with your guides, guardians, deities, etc., and ask them to bring you a dream or dreams that will answer your question or questions. Um, you can, there's so many different things you can do, you know, there's, you can, you can induce dreams to come that will answer some questions rather than just waiting to receive prophetic dreams. Um, you can manifest things or banish things within dreams, like actually you can carry out magical workings within the dreamscape. Um, and this is very much like casting magic in the waking state, only 
instead of working from the physical plane to the astral plane and then having the um, effects sort of ripple back to the physical plane, um, you kind of essentially skip a step and you just work from the astral plane and then the effects would ripple back to the, to the physical plane. Um, so these are just some things you can do. There's, there are many other things you can do. These are just some things that come to mind. Um, as for, you know, how to do this, there's no real right one way how to do these things. Um, I will have some informational links for you in the description of this video um, with some more information. I know there are books out there, for example, on things like lucid dreaming. And I would think, personally, that to, if you were to learn about lucid dreaming, that would probably help you to have more control in your um, desire to deliberately, you know, do things magically, whether they be spell work or whether they be divination or whether they be um, reaching out to others. I think if you're aware that you're dreaming, you have more of an ability to exert control within a dream to do the things you want to do. So being that lucid dreaming is the state of being aware that you're dreaming. I think if you're aware that you're dreaming, you probably have more of an ability to then say, okay, I'm in a dream, now I want to do this. And then you can just do the things you want to do. Um, so that might be something you want to look into. Maybe research lucid dreaming. And there are other things you can learn about too. This is just something I think might be helpful. Um, personally, I haven't yet that I can think of or remember. I don't think I have. I haven't deliberately visited anyone's dreams or deliberately worked magic in dreams. I say deliberately because I have had dreams where I did do things. Um, but it's not like I went to sleep with the intention of doing something. Um, I have sought answers from dreams though, um, though not many times. I've had experiences also with dreaming true. I'm not a person who dreams true on a regular basis, um, but I have had some dreams that were, that proved to, to make sense once I woke up and discovered what was going on that day. Um, and I've also done um, meditation with like crystals and stones, you know, whether to just induce dreams or to try and induce um, prophetic dreams um, in a sense of divination, like to try and induce a dream that would tell me something that I needed an answer, you know, in that respect too. You know, like if I had a question, I may use a crystal, meditate with it before I go to sleep or as I'm falling asleep. and you know, working with the crystal energy, asking the spirit of the crystal, you know, help me to find this true answer, help to bring a dream that will give me the information that I'm seeking. It's worked a few times pretty well. Um, and so basically like, you know, yeah, I've worked with crystal energies and dreams. That's something you may want to try. I will give you though um, a little bit of advice in terms of dream magic. If you are purposely trying to go into dreams um, with the intention of doing things, be, be it visiting others, conveying messages to others, uh, trying to divine or casting any kind of, you know, magic on the dreamscape, on the astral plane or anything like that, I would suggest um, do some psychic protection before you go to bed because I have had a few incidents where I have encountered things, I've stumbled upon things that were not at all pleasant or positive. There was one time where I encountered something just purely, I, I, I don't know if you could say by accident, I just kind of stumbled upon it and this thing was so evil and I was trying to banish it in the dream and I found that as I was encanting at it I could hardly breathe you know, I, I was having trouble breathing as I was speaking the words and because this thing was just so primordially evil that I mean it just you had to like fight not to be absolutely 
petrified of this thing. I mean, it was just that dark. And as I was just doing the best that I could not to, you know, give in to this thing, my husband shakes me awake. And he's like, what's wrong? He's like, you, you weren't breathing very well. He's like, you sounded like you are hyperventilating. And it's funny because I, I was having trouble breathing even in the dream, trying to banish this thing, you know. I was trying to um, protect myself from it. It was just horrid. I was trying to banish it back to where wherever it came from. It's a source of origin because it was just really bad. So I didn't really uh, succeed in banishing it, but I, I did keep it from harming me. But um, I would say being that there are things like that out there, I would suggest psychic protection if you're intending to deliberately you know, go into the dreamscape and do things. Because like, um, just like they tell you in, in, let's say, astral projection, you know, you, you may encounter things that won't always be cool. And um, I guess this is pretty much the extent of what I can really um, say about my understandings about dream magic. I do want to show you once more. I have this one stone. I mentioned that I meditate with stones and crystals a lot. I have this one stone here. I call this my dream stone. It just um, appeared in my house one day. I have no idea where it came from, but every time I meditate with it as I'm falling asleep, I will always have dreams. So this is my dream stone, and I will often work with this. I don't know, again, where the hell it even came from, but that's something I work with. Maybe you will find a crystal or stone that will resonate with you at some point. Um, maybe you'll buy one that you'll just feel the energies are very, you know, um, in tune with you. And maybe maybe you can sort of try working with a stone or a crystal or a few stones or a few crystals in that respect. But anyway, um, yeah, be sure to check out the links that I'll have for you in the description of this video. Hopefully they can kind of give you a little more information or insight or understanding. Um, and I look forward to seeing what everyone else brings forth this week because, as I said before, I only kind of do a little bit in terms of dream magic or, you know, divinatory things with dreams. I'm not like the aficionado, you know, I'm not going to sit here and be like, I know everything, because I don't. <laughs> but um, regardless, I hope I've given you something worth something. I'd like to say blessed be Anashe. Have a great day. Until our next exchange. Until next time. Bye-bye for now. Stay awesome, okay? Bye.